Hi there. Uh, before you watch the video of me installing my Truma boiler uh, and the flue that runs uh, from the boiler to the outside of the van, I just wanted to let you know that I'm absolutely no expert. Um, I've never been trained. It's the first time I've ever done this. So this isn't a how-to. It is a how I installed the Truma boiler in my camper van that I've, I've been building. Um, I've had the camper van now working for um, 18 months. The Truma boiler has been working fantastically all that time. Uh, we use it for our hot water. Uh, we use it for our central heating. We've traveled all over the place in cold, really cold climates, um, up to Scotland, uh, Wales, really cold outside, windy, ice, and the boiler has worked fantastically. So it's kept us nice and warm and snug inside our camper van and also it's given us plenty of hot water. We use it for washing up and we also have a shower in our camper van as well. So I just want to show you um, the finished install because I had a friend of mine come around who is a qualified gas engineer and he connected all the gas um, to the Truma boiler and done all the checks and everything like that so because I know absolutely nothing about that. So here's the Truma boiler itself and this here there's a valve just down here this is where the gas has been connected to it so that's the gas and then you've got a, a valve here is where your hot water goes to and there's another one down the bottom here which is just here so that's where the cold water goes and basically they just uh, clip straight in using the connections that you get from the Truma boiler. Um, here's the flue that I fitted. So still rock solid. I do obviously check it when I do my maintenance. It goes around the back there. Let's just close this and goes out to here. So that's what I fitted in the video you're going to watch. And then you have your pipe work coming out. There's two this side. And there's two this side if you can see that there's one there's two there one on top one on the bottom which feeds your hot air through and whilst we're here if I take this off of here there's a couple of connections so you've got the connector on the right hand side here there's two this is for your 12 volt and then you've got here is for the terminal that you use for your central heating so that that there is this connected here this is what i use for the central heating that you turn it on and off so that's that there and it does have i don't use it it does have a connection here as well which comes with it when you buy the Truma boiler where you can add a plug socket so you can plug it into the mains oh, but it is very very simple to fit so that's it there let's just uh, put this back over here that's it so I've just fed the thermostat through and I've put it round here up the back here. This is the uh, this is what measures the temperature. Okay, so that'll fit in the air vent before sorry it's a bit windy, it's quite windy in the, um if it affects the audio. Um, I'm going to be fitting this. This has got to go into the side of the van, connects to the Truma boiler and it allows the cold air and hot air, hot air out, cold air in, uh, to operate the, well part of operating the Truma boiler. So this needs to be fixed into the side of the van, the side panels. And before I do any cutting, I'm going to be using 
a 76 millimeter hole cutter to make the hole in the van but before I actually make the hole in the van I want to make a just a small um, a small piece of wood square piece of wood that I can put the other side of the van and it's going to give me a bit more oomph to um, connect this to the to, to, to the panel of the van it's just going to make it um, more stable so that's what I'm doing first So the Tuma boiler is coming here. So I know because I've had it in the van, it's not in the van at the moment, but the flue comes out this way, so I'm gonna want the I'm gonna want it to go through here somewhere. The unit will be able to just go through here. So that's about right. out there should be good because it's nice and flat there I'm gonna make sure I don't have it on this curve bit so it's going to be down here so I just want to check now so that's from the top roughly from the top if I've actually put it around the right way I might actually be able to uh, okay so that's about right on there so it's going to be about 16 inches. So there's the curve. I don't know if you can see that. There's the curve there. So we were six inches across. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there we are. We're here. So we're going to come down 16 inches from there. It's going to pull me just past that curve. No, it's not. You see, if I would have drilled that there, I would have drilled straight onto that dip, which is no good. So we need to make sure we need to be down about 20, well, 20, 20 and a half inches, I think, down. If you can see that, that's the top of the window there. That's the top of the, sorry, that's the top of the, where he was on the window so I actually want to be I want to be drilling a hole at 21 inches that's where I want my centre to be 21 inches just next to where I put a um, I made a note for when I went to Autogas 2000 that's where my front water tank my waste water tank is going to come to but um, yeah it's 21 inches so I'm going to go back and have a check. So I'm going to... So there we are, that's, that's on, that's roughly, I can't get exact, but that's roughly the top now. So 21 inches, I can see it. 
is going to be right here. That's perfect. So I've got plenty of room. There's no, all this is all flat. So I'm just going to mark a hole there. I'm mark a, a mark there. Centre. Right there. That is where I'm going to be drilling my hole for the flue. Right. I've decided where I'm going to drill the hole. But you know what? I'm not going to drill it without having the tumor boiling there and checking it. So, because uh, that would just be really stupid. So I'm going to go and get the Truma boiler. I'm going to go and get the little black flue thing that comes with it. And I'm going to put it on there. And we're going to make sure that where I've marked that, it's going to be able to actually fit neatly in there. And then, you know, I might need to put it slightly to the right. I might need to put it slightly to the left. I don't know. I found a nice place where I'm happy where it'll go. So let's go and see. Go and get the Truma boiler, bring it out, and see whether it will, it will actually uh, fit there. I don't want to make any more any mistakes. So let's go and get it. So this is the bed of piping that connects to the Truma boiler. So you've got the central pipe here and the outer pipe. So this is the pipe that I probably need to cut it in length. Um, there is a bit of flexibility to it, but it's not over flexible, so that was my concern. So there's that. Let's make a bit of space. Right, let's get the boiler in. There's bits and pieces here. So you've got two of these the same size, and two of these the same size. So that must be the inside one, that's the outside one. And this goes on the back of the... This goes on the outside of the van onto there like that, so that all fits together like that. And that's what you see on the outside of the van there. So let's leave that for a minute. Okay, so let's get inside and start putting this together. So this is what they're going to fit onto. That one's going to go in like that, with this here. And this has to fit this way round, because what happens is this has got some little bumps in it, and when you tighten this up, so you don't want to over tighten this, when you tighten this up, this has got the little little wedges there and that grips onto this so that will grip onto that so let's uh, open this up a bit more I do need to put this round it. Just move it back here a bit. So let's get this round here. See, then that's going to go around to there. So when we've got this on, we'll be able to see exactly how far it's going to bend round and I might have to push the true boiler slightly this way and make and make the hole slightly that way so 
exactly. So you put that into there like that. Slide this across. And these just grip into here, you see. Like that. Now. Right, so we've got this little nut thing. Let's just check. Okay, yeah, so it needs to fit right into here to make sure we get on there. So I'll push that in a bit more, try and concertina it, or push, push that together a bit more, then make it a bit thicker for that to grab onto, I think. And we're right up, we're right up there, I think. We're coming into here, moving along. Push it right in, there you go. Just make sure I get that right in there. Just see how much we need. So, if that goes there, So you see, I've got the central one in there and I've got the outer one in there. That's going to go about there. I'm going to push them in. So now I've just got to see where it comfortably moves round to allow heat, uh, to allow air to go out and come in from the, uh, from the uh, Truma boiler. See, that's far too long. I do have a bit of leeway, not well, I don't really have a lot of leeway. Pull that forward a bit. Okay. Okay, so I know roughly how that's going to look now, so I am going to need to chop it off a bit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this to the bit that um, goes outside the van. And then I'm going to put it through. And it's given me a rough indication where I want to be. I want to be slightly further to the right, I think. then I can cut it slightly when the outside one is coming through. Where I've put the black dot is here, I'm going to go to here. So if I put that there, that looks like it's going to be a lot more of a comfortable fit for that. And I'll be able to trim that off and put that there. Okay, so I've drilled the hole in there like that. I put the bit of cover around it to hopefully catch all most of the metal filings that are going to be created. So let's get around the other side and let's drill the hole. has cut a nice round hole there so now I just need to file the edges round 
and I'm going to hemorrhite the inside and the outside to protect the layers, give it all the hoover around and get rid of all the all the, um, the bits of metal there. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. Plastic sheeting is just here. I've already moved it down already, so I'm just going to give this a little brush round. It's done fairly well, caught quite a lot of it. Probably can't see it in there, but so let's move that. There is a little bit here, so I just need to get the hoover out and give that a good clean up. Just give it a good clean around this area. And then um, I'm going to put hemorrhite. I just need to pull some of this sound deadening in the way, put hemorrhite all around the, the inside here and the outside, and um, we'll be good to go when that dries. So I'll get back to you after I've uh, covered it with hemorrhite to protect it from the for any from any rust. Okay, I just thought I'd show you. I've put a nice bit of uh, white hemorrhite on there to protect the paintwork. I'll just wait for that to dry now. I'll put it on the inside and the outside. And then uh, once that's dry, I'll install the vent. Okay, so I'm now going to, uh, to slide this part through. On here, if you can see that, it says top open. So this part here has to go to the top of the hole. And then I've got some securing, one, two, three, four, five to secure and two to secure the black plastic piece on the top there so let's slide this through here so this has got a rubber on the back here so what I'm going to do though um this is the rubber here rubber seal seems quite good but i'm just going to put a little bit of sicker flex around here as well just to be doubly sure and then um, i am going to screw that straight in to the wood that's going to be on the other side i'm just going to need to put this on with my finger this uh, i haven't got any more tubes and the other one's blocked Get that down to the centre. Okay, this should be better. No, you can't stop now. I'll push it. Okay. Yeah, you just stop for a minute and then let me know and then I'll put the other hole in. Yeah, I'm just going to put a screw in and then we're done. Push it. Okay. That's it.
happy with that. It's nicely in there. I'm just going to put a little bit more Sikaflex around here, the side. I'll do that now, and then I'm going to put the black cover on there. There we go. Just need to cover this over again because it's just started to rain. It's a great British weather for you. Okay, so I'm happy with that. That's gone in quite well, I think, or gone in very well. I put the sticker flex around the outside of it as well to help seal that. Um, I'm going to keep that covered like that for a minute, just while this rain just passes, just a little bit, uh, just a bit like that. So they predicted dry weather today, so. I've just got to come out and do it when they say it's dry. I've got to do things like this. So there you go. Okay, guys, there you go. One Truma boiler vent connected to the van. Let's just move this out of the way. Yeah exactly the position I wanted it in so uh, I'm happy with that I've okay so now I've connected the uh, the outside part the vent part into the van the rest of it is all fitting it in the van now so let's get in the van and start cutting that to length so it fits on the Truma boiler correctly <clears throat> and I'm also going to screw the Truma boiler down now to secure where it's going to go so let's get on and do that so I'll just slip this one over here you can see it's uh, right up against the back now what I need to try and do is cut this to this length so it's probably going to I'm probably going to cut it just a little bit more about here um, that's where it's got to go I'm going to cut it a bit longer because then I can push it together uh, and make this more of a solid a solid bit for that to click uh, uh, hold on to now the thing is is that I need to connect the silver one here first then this one afterwards so I'm going to need to push that back anyway so uh, I think I'm quite happy with it I'm going to cut it around here just so it's a little bit the further than I need see that one there and that goes on there pull this one off and I'm just going to cut this one just going to cut out about here with a hacksaw so that's what I did with the other one it's that cut very easily you'll be able to see me a bit better if I leave you up here with what I'm doing so this has to connect into here like that this one needs to connect into there like that and then the black one connects onto this piece here but to do that I have to have this slid in there 
ready. So hopefully I'm going to be able to push it up enough to get it out of the way. This one's in there nice and solid. That one's not moving anywhere. So this one can go through. One. I'll push that light to the top. Push this back. So let's uh, undo this one. You do have to undo these. I can't get it in there without undoing it. Which is a real pain because these aren't easy to uh, to do up. So let's get this one like this, put that in there. I want that to the end. So I'm going to push that together. So these are pushed together, so it makes it a bit more solid. and get that as far up as possible. Uh, to about there. I'm gonna put the little uh, the little square nut in there like that. I'm putting the flat bit this side because I think that's how that must go. This bit must go to here and then I've got to try and push it together and screw it in with this. So let's see if I can do it. It's a real pain in the backside. Okay. Okay, so the thing is you get so close to it and it just won't go, but let's see what we can do. I've pushed this up. That, so that's as far as I can get it to make sure that's over. The bit that we need to uh, clamp to that was incredible that went on first time the one over there I was doing it for about half hour trying to get it to screw up okay so then we need to just screw this up so I'm just going to put you here let's uh, screw this one up as you can see you got the teeth here and they're just digging into this as I'm screwing it so I should be able to undo that all the way out. I think that's uh, tight as I'm gonna get it and it comes to here so I can secure that tightly around there and that'd be fine I'm sure and then secure it on this side and then that'd be done let's bring this around here secure this on Okay, so that's nice and secure there. And I just need to secure it correctly on this end. So push this right up.
So that all looks nice and secure that way. This is nice and secure here. There's my gas point coming out, so that should be fine to connect to there. And I still have got a bit of leeway. Let's just uh, put, put this up, put you up here. So it still has given me, I still have the option to just have a little move around slightly so I can position where I need it to go. Somewhere like so just around there would be fine and now I'm just going to uh, screw it down to secure it I can always move it if I have to. I'm just going to put a couple of screws in just to semi-secure it down. I can move it slightly if I want to, but I'm happy with that. That's uh, that's fine. I've got room behind. I'm just going to have a boarding coming down the back there, so that's fine. And I've got a good sort of like few inches around the back. Um, I may bring it slightly, like I say, I can move it around anyway, so okay i'm happy with that okay thanks for watching that that's part one of the truma boiler install i would have thought um, actually getting the pipe work from the outside to the inside and then connecting that and setting that all up uh, showing you how i did that um, i'm really happy that i've got that job done one of the things about this build is drilling holes in the side of the van has to be done right first time it's got to be in the right position so um you know i'm happy with that i'm really happy with how that's gone um, and the next part will be connecting it all up and um yeah so well thanks for watching that i hope that helps somebody else out as you're thinking about putting a truma combi boiler in your camper van this is the e4 um so there you go. Have a great day and I'll see you in another video.